Okay, here we have a question on statistics from November 2016, paper 4, variant 3. <clears throat> Uh, this is about cumulative frequency. There was a question about histograms in the paper 2 from 2018, June. Um, so I doubt they will have a histograms question in the paper 4. So I thought I'd choose a question about cumulative frequency. Um, now, here it says the cumulative frequency diagram shows information about the prices of 100 cars on website A. Use the information to complete this table. So they want you to find the lower quartile, the upper quartile, and the interquartile range. They already gave us the median. Okay, median. Okay. Now, what does that mean? First of all, the median, okay, is the value um, or the entry which is right in the middle of the data. The median is the value or the entry which is right in the middle of the data. Okay. So, what we're going to, well, to find the median, you've got to find out how many data items there are, and that's what the cumulative frequency tells us. It tells us that the are 100 items of data and the, the the median is the 50th percentile mean the one right in the middle so if you want to find what the median is you go to 50 on the well in this case you go halfway up the cumulative frequency curve which in this case you know halfway up is going to be at 50 and then you see where it hits the curve and you, that tells you where it is and what it is is what the x-axis tells you so it's along this line down here so it's right over there it's about seven thousand six hundred okay so this that's, that's that value there okay seven thousand six hundred how do we know it's seven thousand six hundred well because they tell us but secondly that helps us to make the scale now you see that's six so that's eight all right that's two thousand um pounds or dollars two thousand pounds okay is contained within one to five units okay five units so that means one unit okay one unit is going to represent okay how many dollars it's going to be 400 okay so each one of these is 400 okay so that's 6400 6800 7200 7600 8000 okay so that's how we know it's 7600 i did that although they gave us a million just to make sure that we got the right idea about the scale of the axis. It's always a good idea to make sure. So they gave us the median. We see this is 7,600. It helps us to make sure that we got the right um, idea about what each unit or each square represents. Okay, so now we can do the upper and the lower quartile. What does that mean? Now, the, the upper quartile is basically um, the, the value which is three quarters along. So where three quarters of the data is below that value. Okay, three quarters of the data is below that value. So three quarters, 75th percentile, three quarters. Okay, so the upper quartile is a 75th percentile. Okay, 70, 70, 75th percentile. Okay, so you've got to go three quarters along the y-axis, the cumulative frequency, which is going to be, of course, in this case, 75, okay, because it's 100. So we go to 75. Now, here we see this is um, every there's 10 squares for there's 10 squares for 20 units. So everyone is two. So you've got two, four, six, eight, ten. That's 70. Okay, that's 72. That's 74. That's 76. That's 78. So 75 is exactly halfway between these. So I'm going to make a line, and I'm going to make the line so that it's quite thin. I'll make it dotted from. Now, 75 is halfway between these two, right? That's 70, 72, 70, that's 72, 74, 70, sorry, that's 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80. So 75 is going to be right here. Let's try and be accurate. It's in the middle, I'll try and do it as accurate as I can. Until it hit the curve. Well, once it hits the curve, then you've got to go down. Okay, so that's 75, that's 70, 1, that's 72, 74, 76, that's right. Now we're going to go down, it's, it's going to be like halfway in this square here, it seems that it hits that curve. And you go down, try and be as accurate as you can, and you should show this step of you drawing this line down. So that's going to be like halfway between 10, and as we said, each of these squares was worth 4, 4,000, right? So that's 10,000, okay, and it's like a half of... Uh, 2,000, 4,000, which is 10,000. So it's 10,200. 
it seems it's like it's 10,000. That's upper quartile. That is upper quartile first. 10,200, okay? All right, so that's 10,000, that's 10,400, that's halfway between them, okay? Now, the lower quartile, as you can imagine, is a quarter of the way up, okay, which is the 25th percentile. Okay, it's 25th percentile. So the 25th percentile is called the lower quartile. All right, so that's going to be at 25. Now, that's 30. That's 22, 24, 26, so 25 is going to be right there. So we do our line across. Try and be as accurate as we can. Halfway. Boom. It actually hits it right on the line, it seems. So we're going a bit too far, maybe. So when they've drawn the graph for you themselves, it's very important to be as accurate as you can because it's really, if you drew it, then they, they do give some leeway. Even they do here. It looks like it's basically exactly on. So that's going to be 6,000. Okay, so the lower quartile here is 6,000. Okay, so that's 6,000 for the lower quartile. All right, so that's the lower quartile and upper quartile. Now, the interquartile range is the difference between the upper quarter and the lower quarter. So you just subtract these. So you've got 10,200 minus 6,000, which is 4,200. Now, what the interquartile range helps us to do is to look at the middle 50% of the data because we know that 25% of the data is below this and 75% of the data is below this. Okay? So that means this is the middle 50% of the data. So you're looking at the middle 50% of the data. Okay? So you're taking out the extremely low values and the extremely high values and looking at the middle 50%. That's what the interquartile range helps us to do. Now, part two says this table shows the information about the prices of cars on website B. And they're given the lower quartile, the median, the upper quartile, and the interquartile range. Now, here are two statements comparing the distributions of the prices of cars on website A and website B. For each statement, write true or false. Give a reason for each answer, stating clearly which statistic you use to make your decision. So A says the prices of cars on website A are lower than the prices of cars on website B. Okay, so if you look at this, you can see that as the median is lower, you can say on average the car prices are lower. So yes, you can say this is true. Okay, I would say this is true because the median, the median of A is lower than, sorry, let me get my hand in the proper position here to control right, than the median of B. Okay? So the median of A is lower than the median B, if you can read my line. So that's part A. Um, and part B, I'm going to do, or I'll pause the video and do it in a minute, okay? Okay, so part B says, a greater percentage of cars have a price more than 13,600 on website A as compared to website B. Okay, so a greater percentage of cars has a price more than 13,600. Okay, so you can see that the percentage of cars which have a price more than 13,600 here, this 25% of the cars have a price more than 13,600 because the upper quartile is the 75th percentile. So there's 25% of the cars have a price which are greater than, 20% of the cars, their prices is greater than 13,600. Okay, because it's the upper quartile. So 75% have a price which are lower, uh, lower or equal to, and 25% of the cars have a price which is greater. Here, 25% of the cars have a price which is greater than 10,200. So, of course, this is going to have less percentage, which is greater than 13,600, because some of that 25% is less than 13,600. See, 25% of the cars, their price is more than the upper quartile. All right? So, some of that 25% is going to be between 10,200 and 13,600. That means that some, uh, you know, the, the, pro, the, the percentage of cars which have a proportion which is greater than 13,600 would be less. So what do they say here? The greater percentage of cars have a price more than 13,600 on website A compared to website B 
This is false. Okay, and the reason is because the upper quartile of A starts at was something like 10,000, 10,200. 10,200. That's enough. It's just worth one mark. They get exactly what you mean. You don't have to make a, a, write a thousand word essay to get that one mark. They just want to know false and what statistics do you use? Do you use the upper quartile at A, basically? Right? It's, it starts at 10,200. And obviously, that means there is, you know, some proportion of that 25% is below 13,600. So there's less than 25% of cars which have a price which, is, which are greater than 13,000. 600. Okay, so that's part A and B of this question. I'll do part the rest of it on another video. Thanks for listening.